opinion is real. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I feel like they made the song, then add the vocals. Like, it, it doesn't feel like a song made for vocals. But into this game, uh, two quick jabs. It's gonna put a French tutor at 32%. And both on FD, so this might be a bit of a long game. These characters just kind of of a campy nature. But, uh, oh, and we should also mention the dominance that Jewel has had. Yeah. Jewel has been doing super well lately. How did he fare at Defend the North? I think he did pretty well at Defend the North, right? Am I wrong about that? Anyway, getting back to this match. If, oh man, I actually love the way that Jewel not really committing to movement. As we said before, Link is so great at shutting down certain areas with his projectiles. And so Jewel is not trying to commit to a direction. He's like walking back and forth. And that was doing well for a while. Oh, actually, no, it was doing great. I went, while we had a uh, an exchange of some kind, I didn't even realize that French Tutor lost his first stock. Okay, this is definitely a good position for Jewel. You know, looking at the way Jewel is playing right now, it almost seems Sinji-esque in that he's setting up these traps or just like taking his time, you know, using up those tomes, using up the Leaven Sword and picking it up because he kind of knows that he doesn't want to be approaching French Tutor. So he's like, all right, I'm just going to, you know, do my own thing. I can't, I don't really have, I mean, he has obviously Thunder um, as a projectile, but he loves using that for movement. So he's not necessarily just going to be charging that up and calling it a day. Again with the bomb recovery, it seems to be working all right for him. I, Jewel has not been touched in like a minute, a solid minute. He's still at 65% and he just took another stock from French Tutor. Like French Tutor's a really good player, it's just that Jewel's just not making, it just doesn't look like the case right now. He's just so effective at countering his opponent's game plan. Oh, and the micro spacing on top of that. Yeah, we can also see the downside to Robin's really slow movement. Okay, missing that tech. I actually, that might have been untechable. Bomb is strong, and he was at pretty high percent. But regardless, now Jewel is put onto his second stock, but already French Tutor at 89%, and there is nothing to fall back on here. I guess there's game two, but don't think of game two as a fallback. Game two is a last resort. Once again, slowing things down. Doing, a, I will say, French Tutor doing a good job of sort of realizing, even though uh, Jewel is setting things up with you know picking up Levin Sword and everything, he's not really getting that much out of it. Really effectively parrying him every time he tries to throw that sword. Oh, but eventually he has to get something started, and once he does, he puts himself in range for that brutal you know when the Levin Sword is attached and when it is electrified. Okay. I want to say that, especially considering that the middle part of this game, like the mid game, Jewel was just completely untouchable. And at the very least, French Tutor has been touching him. That's 90%. This, he reasonably could actually take another stock here. But the big problem is there's another stock waiting for him. If he manages, if he, if he manages to win that uphill battle, which he doesn't even, Jewel taking the game in a two stock fashion. It seems I'm wondering what jump. stage we're going to see for. Counter pick. I personally think that Link works really well on Battlefield, and I don't know how well Jewel's movement on platform with platforms is. I think it's pretty good. I don't think he's necessarily scared of Battlefield. Oh, he is. He actually bans at first thing, and the second ban is going to be. I, I think maybe. I think we're maybe going to see Yoshi's story, given that uh, Kalos was banned. But he's taking some time to think about it. I definitely agree with that. Don't rush into a decision, especially considering that you're going to need all the help you can get up against Tool right now. I am unsure where they picked exactly. My my personal cash stash is on Yoshi's story, but I could be very, very wrong about that. Oh. And he's selecting the music for Yoshi Story. You guys can't see it, but I can. Give me my cash stack back. Cash stash? Cash stash. Cash. <laughs> Whatever. 
Anyway, we're not going to be seeing a switch of character most likely for either player. Yep, going to be the rematch of Robin versus Link. In terms of changes that need to happen for French Tutor to keep him alive, Three, kill himself alive two, in his bracket, one, mm, it's really hard to say. Uh, Jewel is just so effective at countering the opponent's game plan. Maybe just being more dynamic in general could help. Uh, you know, don't let Jewel sort of settle into that counter plan. Uh, if you're changing your plan so much, how can the opponent counter you? If you don't know what you're going to do next, how can your opponent? I don't necessarily think that that reckless strategy is the right way to go, but I don't necessarily think that more patience is the answer. Uh, but as I'm saying that, finally a big lead for French Tutor. 66% onto Jewel, anything to get even more chip. That's 71 now. And the big thing is that if he has a lead, finally, finally Jewel is forced to approach. Not only that, Jewel has been stuck on the ledge. This is definitely a different story, especially if French Tutor is able to continue with this pattern. Great job just blowing up the bomb with that uh, arc fire. Doesn't want to give him that resource. If it's dropped on the ground, he wants it to be gone. Up B, Gomez taking it. That move is so fast and so strong. Not quite just enough yet. And the bomb actually ricocheting into him. And that could be huge. He is now put on the ledge. And being put on the ledge against Jewel can be so scary. The fact that Levin Sword wasn't in play was really saved uh, French Tutor's skin right there. Means that he can still clean things up with a neutral air. And he has this stock lead. And let's see how he plays to it. Let's not forget that even though Robin might struggle to approach, she does not struggle with kill power. If he gets in on him, you know, that... Upwards hit of Levin Sword, any of the aerial variants, except maybe forward, it would probably kill now. But getting in, that's the big question. I think that, yeah. So this is the thing, that last time around, it was, it seems like he's doing the same strategy, just this time, Jewel actually has to do something about it. Yeah, we're not really seeing that same approach from Jewel, where he's just like, all right, I'm just gonna use up my tomes. Get maybe a little item in hand, you know, cycle through some stuff. Instead, he's like, ah, oh, no, I actually have to get something done here. All right, another boomerang. Just adds more damage, makes that gap even wider. Oh, he wanted the perfect micro spacing, but in the end, he loses that stock, and that could be really dangerous for him because now, Jewel doesn't have to worry about taking a stock. All he has to worry about is getting some damage in. Oh, but he has to do it without dying himself. The difference, oh, if he ends up dying right here, I would be honestly comfortable calling this game a wrap for French Tutor. We might see the first game three of the day. His Adaptation and the use of the stage too has been so great. I think that possibly banning both triplats would have been the right call for Jewel. Um, it does mean though that if we do see a game three, uh, Jewel's counter pick will probably he won't have the same access to this triplat layout. Wow, <laughs> going through these tiny little thunders pokes here and there. I guess he just wants to shut down movement and get chip damage while he's at it. <laughs> At the very least, things seem to be going... Oh my... I spoke way too soon. I was talking about game three already, but <coughs> this here was absolutely a game between the two of them. 43% is all that's left on Jewel, considering the huge lead that French Tutor had earlier, and the fact that that gap was, like, brought to such a close game means that there is momentum for Jewel. There is possibly adaptation that whatever strategies that French Tutor had, <laughs> they might not be so effective anymore. And finally, the lead slips from French Tutor's fingers. Oh, goes for that down air. Actually landing that spike would have been huge, but as it stands now, we're getting into a last hit situation. 98% on French Tutor. There are lots of things that could kill him. Jewel might not be quite as worried, but he cannot get comfortable. Link has tons of kill power himself. More damage, bomb recovery, but he actually catches him with the Thoron. A beautiful comeback from Jewel, and he's gonna be taking the set 2-0. Still no game three on stream. Ah, I'm gonna start talking real gravelly because my throat's bothering me. I'm not actually gonna do that. Oh yeah, look at that slowdown. He went for that back air. 
Yeah, you have to respect the fact that, you know, similar to like Palutena, Robin can threaten you with a death from a huge distance. It's instant. Thoron just all the way across the stage.